The fullness of time had come. For thousands upon thousands of years, God's people waited for the coming of the great son of David, the Messiah, King of Israel, the promised Prince of Peace. And now their prophet's wildest God-wrought dreams finally materialized as angel choirs announced, the King is here, born this very day. In the Messiah's arrival, we marvel at, but expect an angel of the Lord to proclaim it. We gape at, but expect a whole army of angels to burst into praise. We might even expect this proclamation to ring through the royal halls or in the temple, anywhere other than some obscure fields near Bethlehem, to shepherds. Their garments, animal stench, their compromised social position, and their dirt lodged beneath their fingernails didn't disqualify these shepherds from receiving the word of the Lord. After all, The good news of great joy was for all people. And we read later, especially for the poor. And what did the angel say would be the sign of this exceedingly good news? Look for Messiah's poverty. He'll be lying in a manger, a feeding trough. He'll smell like you, blessed shepherds. And humble circumstances pushed to the margins. Indeed, blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. And blessed are we too when, like the shepherds, we receive the good news and hurry to meet Jesus for ourselves. Isn't this how we all began with Christ? We didn't understand all that he was, all that he had done or would do. Or how all of this is meant to radically transform us. We just knew that we needed to see him, to meet him. And when we did, how could we help but proclaim the good news? Glorifying and praising God for all that we had heard and seen. This rhythm, hear the good news, hurry to meet with Jesus, then share the good news. Isn't this also how we continue in the faith? Isn't this the recipe for worship that fuels our endurance? Isn't this the soil where hope blooms? The kingdom of God is filled with stories like these. Lowly shepherds becoming esteemed heralds of salvation. Tax collectors and prostitutes becoming friends of God. The foolish and weak shame the wise and the strong. Even our hope himself, the Messiah, the Lord, once laid in a feeding trough. So this Advent season, look for freedom in the lowly. Look for hope in unexpected places. Make a choice to serve those that Jesus would first proclaim his message to in our day. And watch and see Jesus reveal his liberation and salvation to you.